Today, we want to clarify much confusion in the marketplace about UV light rays and their effects on ambering and yellowing of concrete floor coatings. Many dealer and applicators claim their polyurea or epoxy coatings do not amber or yellow due to ultraviolet light rays from the sun. These applicators, through their coating suppliers, either brand names or private labels, promote 10 to 15 year warranties for residential garage floors against discoloration from UV exposure. But usually buried in the warranty is a disclaimer that it does not cover changes or oxidation of the coating as a result of normal weathering or atmospheric conditions. We'll show test results in a QUV accelerated weathering cabinet that compares some industry names in polyurea and epoxy concrete floor coatings to a Flexmar polyaspartic. For the test results to be meaningful, the length of exposure time in the QUV accelerated weather cabinet was 500 hours in order to correlate to the acceptance criteria level one of the Society of Protective Coatings Paint Specification 36. The SSPC defines a noticeable change in color as greater than two delta E. The chart clearly shows the exposure panels both before and after 500 hours exposure. The Flexmar gray polyaspartic had a delta E color change of 0.89 compared to a delta E color change of 4.83 for the gray polyurea and 8.83 for the gray epoxy. This is also visible as shown by the side-by-side -side panels where the polyurea and epoxy show visual ambering and yellowing. The Flexmar polyaspartic does not visually show ambering or yellowing, thus it's 0.89 delta E color change. The conclusion? The Flexmar polyaspartic would meet the level one acceptance criteria of SSPC paint specification 36, while the polyurea and epoxy would fail. This difference is dramatic and should cast doubt on claims that a polyurea or epoxy will not amber or yellow when exposed to UV sunlight. Some competitors disguise their claims of no ambering or yellowing by running similar QUV comparison testing, but exposing their sample panels for less than 24 hours to show little or no ambering or yellowing. Beware of these misleading claims. Therefore, Flexmar, who is the first company to introduce polyaspartic concrete floor coatings in 2006, has maintained that an all 100% polyaspartic floor coating system, both self-prime color coat and clear top coat offers the best long-term life cycle when compared to one that has a polyurea or epoxy color coat primer and clear top coat.